In this video, I'm going to talk you through how I made over $2,000 in 30 days by selling my artwork on Displate. Now, this is not a get rich quick video. I don't mean that these were my first 30 days on the platform. I've been selling on Displate for just over two years now, I believe, and I've been building up to this point and I just had a, a really good Q4. Don't expect to get the same sort of results after like a month or two, but with consistent work and with uploading the right things, the right types of designs, there's definitely a lot of potential on this platform. So the way this video is going to be structured is, first of all, I'm going to show you what display actually is, because I think a lot of people in the print and demand space have never really heard of it. And secondly, I'm going to show you what specifically sells on the platform, because not really your typical t-shirt design that's very common on Merch by Amazon would sell on display. Thirdly, I'm going to show you how to join the platform, because if you want to open your own shop and sell you out on there, you actually have to apply you have to send them an email and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks of what to put into this email to hopefully get accepted. And then the fourth part of this video is going to be the upload process. So I'm going to walk you through how to sort of convert your artwork into the display format because it's not the same than just uploading to Merch by Amazon. And the fifth part of this video is going to be how to automate your uploads by using Flying Upload and make that whole upload process a lot easier and smoother. So the first question is, what is Displayed? If you've never heard of it, you're probably a bit confused and they don't sell t-shirts and mugs and all the typical stuff that we used to, no stickers, nothing like that. They actually sell a really unique product, which is metal posters. I really love these myself. I've actually got a few hanging there. So there's this one in the corner and this one as well. These are both metal posters. I've got some in front of me. I'll actually just get one down to show you because that's probably the easiest way to explain how these work. So if I flip this around a bit, you can see that there's some thickness to it. It is definitely metal and the art, if I get it closer to the camera, is printed on the front. Now these look really really cool and one of the benefits of them is that you can hang them up on your wall with a magnet. So this back right here is all magnetic and that means you don't have to drill any holes, you don't have to you know just hammer a nail into the wall, you can literally just stick a magnet to it and attach the poster there. You can move them around like if you get bored of them just change them up, get a new display and it's just a really cool concept that I really like myself. I've bought quite a few them for myself. I've bought them as gifts and let's jump into the actual website so I can walk you through uh, some of the products in more detail. So here we are on display itself. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of pictures of posters. Many of them are actually themed around popular TV shows and movies, but don't let that confuse you. You're not allowed to sell them yourself unless you have a license to sell that at work. Like you'll see some Star Wars stuff. You can't create Star Wars themed designs and upload them to display unfortunately, but you can still create the, the same sort of stuff stuff reader that you would create for print and demand, just other styles would be more successful is what I'm trying to get at. So if I open one of these up, you will see quite quickly how this works. So you can select different sizes, see a person's wall right there next to the poster so you can get a better idea for the size. The one I just showed you is an M, I believe. These mock-ups are really cool as well because if you flick down this sort of zooms to the side, you can see the magnets right there that stick to the wall and you've got this protective strip as well so that the wall doesn't get damaged. As you can see right here, some of this artwork is really, really intricate and maybe something where you'd say, well, I don't know how to create this design. I can try as hard as possible. I will never be able to design something like this. And that's fair enough. Like I couldn't either. I would not be able to create this. I think even with AI art generators, that would still be really challenging. So another thing that actually sells on display rather than just these extremely, you know, artistic designs is text-based stuff. So for example, let's just type in motivation. And yes, there's like a hundred thousand results here, but this is just to give you an example of the types of designs that we as t-shirt designers can make that can also sell on this platform. So these sort of more text heavy designs from my experience work way better. It doesn't have to be in the motivational niche, but just in general, um, if you've got something like this, seven rules of life that has a lot more text to it, that's definitely going to work better because you have to think about the fact that people will hang this on their wall. So if you put your typical vintage sunset t-shirt design with like a funny phrase on it, on a metal poster, people are not really going to want to put that on a wall. And same as well with seasonal trends. So if you think about some of the seasonal designs that come up Easter or St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, like no one would want to 
hang that up on their wall and then have to take it down a month later, especially as like a metal poster. These are a bit more expensive than your usual paper poster, as you would expect. So seasonal trend designs or generally trending designs would not work well on this platform. You have to think more evergreen and more what someone would really want to have on their wall all year round that has some more detail to it, some more text to it so that it keeps the wall interesting and not just like one word, two words. Like yeah, there's some designs like that here, work hard, stay humble, but from my experience, designs sell best that are first of all, a uh, sort of a tall rectangle. So rather than having like a short square at the top, which is usually a lot of t-shirt designs, you want to have a tall rectangle that's filled out with your design. Ideally, you want to have quite a bit of text on there, maybe like a flow chart to make like a funny design for a specific hobby or something like that is what I would recommend uploading to display it if you do plan on selling here. You can also search obviously for different niches that you might be selling in for print on demand and then you might find that it's actually quite a small niche on display because that's something that I've found that um, a lot of the niches that might be saturated on Merch by Amazon are actually fairly small on display because it's just like it's quite heavy on these artistic designs and branded designs so that some evergreen topics might sort of fall off the radar and not be as saturated. And just a quick proof of the fact that I have been successful recently, uh, in case you don't trust the, the title or the thumbnail, well, I've got my camera here um, because this gives away some of my top selling designs. But on the left hand side, you can see the current pending payout for my account and it shows, for example, the sales in the last 90 days right here, which that is covering, well, December, November, which is when most of the sales happen, right? You can see the sales in the last 30 days, which isn't 2000 anymore, obviously, because January is a generally snow month, but that is still a decent amount of money, in my opinion, for a, well, a marketplace that is quite off the radar when it comes to print and demand. Total earnings, 10,000 displays sold, 3,600. So you get an idea for the margins right there. It's roughly about $3 per display. The, the smaller ones, I think, come out as $2 royalties, and the biggest ones can go up all the way to like $10 uh, if you sell one of the massive sizes. So it evens out for me at around $3 per sale, which isn't amazing, but you can't really complain about it. Um, because it is mainly passive income. So that's it in terms of my earnings and let's jump to the um, the application process. So if you want to sell a display, you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page where it says earn with display to click on sell your art. Now this is going to open a page where they quickly run you through how the, you know, the earning process works and if you want to join them it says right here send us a link to your portfolio and get a chance to open your own and free display shop so if you click contact us that's essentially just going to open up your emails and i think the most important part right here is definitely going to be your portfolio in case you don't know how to actually create a portfolio i probably wouldn't attach like a tea public shop or red bubble shop to this i feel like that might look a bit less professional and it also might give you or might give them the wrong impression if you have a lot of you know t-shirt designs that are based around vintage sunsets and the the usual sort of stuff ideally you want to create a portfolio that has got really good quality designs but only designs that are actually aimed or ideal for the displayed audience. That means, like we just saw when I looked through them, either something very artistic, which I know is really hard to create, but you could look into AI artwork. And now artificial intelligence will help you create some really nice stylish looking artwork. I have asked the display team if uploading AI artwork is allowed. And it is allowed. As long as you've got a commercial license, you can sell AI designs on this site. So I would recommend looking into CF Spark, Mid Journey, those sort of programs and trying to create some, some really nice sort of poster type designs around nature, or space, that sort of stuff, and then upload them into a portfolio. Or the second option, like I discussed with the motivational niche right there, is creating designs that are sort of more text heavy and that, you know, have some more detail to it. You could use flow charts, you could use motivational stuff, try and find some evergreen niches on display and see what sells there and, and base your designs around what's already doing well on display don't just copy it try and be creative but sticking to the same sort of style because that's definitely what display is going to want to see so i did actually email display as well about the application process and what they want for the portfolio and they did say that the portfolio could be a social media account or a blog where you post your designs. Um, so you could be using Instagram, maybe Dribbble, that's another example. And if you have a Creative Cloud subscription to Adobe, 
then you also get access to Behance, by the way, which is a really uh, cool way to create a professional looking portfolio. Another thing I asked is whether there's a specific style of designs they look for in these applications and they said there isn't. Their website obviously shows various different styles, but nevertheless, they do pay a lot of attention to the quality of designs because they're printed in such a big metal format. Now, the second part to the email is obviously the text that you write. You don't just want to put a link and send it off. That will look very unprofessional. Ideally, you want to, with the text, focus on display. So rather than just talking about yourself and saying, oh, if I'm a designer, I've been, I've got five years experience, I'm this, I'm that. Try and focus on display instead because they will want to hear how you will actually benefit them. First of all, you can praise them for the cool concept of their website. You can say you really like displays yourself. You'd love to sell artwork on them. You could talk about one of their programs where they actually plant a tree for every single display that sells. You'd say how you think that's a, an amazing idea and you'd love to help support the idea with your artwork. So first of all, starting off with some praise I think is a good idea to go with and then secondly you want to go into depth about why you think your artwork is going to help display out by getting them more sales by providing topics with more designs that are underserved or that are not very saturated because that's definitely something they would be interested in if there's um, a lot of people looking for a certain hobby but there's only a very limited amount of search results and um, if you've got some great designs to fill out those search results then display would be happy about about that and I think that's definitely something you can focus on in your email so try and stick to what displays benefit is these were just some some examples some ideas you can probably come up with more ideas put the focus on them tell them what their advantage would be if they let you in rather than just talking about yourself and how great you are and yeah I think that's it in terms of the applications I really hope that some of you can get accepted I don't know how strict this process is I don't know if it's as strict as Merchable Amazon back when I joined and opened my shop it was still open to the public you didn't have to apply i hope it is relatively easy if you if you fill in a good application and have a good portfolio and i wish you all the best of luck so when it comes to uploading to display the first step that you have to take is actually creating your files in the right format because you cannot upload your merch by amazon t-shirt designs to display it as they are it doesn't work first of all because they're png and uh, display only allows jpeg and the dimensions are also different so the recommendations are 2900 pixels for the width 4060 pixels for the height and that is in portrait format right here and the resolution has to be 300 dpi for display and the color mode has to be an RGB. Once you've created your file, you are going to want to, first of all, make sure that your text is not too close to the edge because if it comes really close, then once the display is printed, that text is sort of going to bleed over the edge a little bit. So always have some margins around the edge right here. What does that say? 260 pixels that'll give you a rough idea of a sort of a safety distance to keep. One more tip is rather than just having text and a background color, one more thing you can do is you can actually have a texture in the background, which does look really nice. It makes the design look a bit more interesting rather than a plain color. There is some designs selling on display that do this, which are text-based with a texture behind it. This texture file right here, I found on Creative Fabrica. It's a nice little pack with a few different dark textured background images. If you want to check them out, they're in high quality. I will leave a link to them down below. And then when it comes to saving your artwork, just head up to File, go to Export, and then click export as. This is if you're in Photoshop, obviously if you're in a different software, you have to find where to save it in there. But the main important thing right here while exporting is that you have to change the format to JPEG because as I said, PNG is not allowed. The width and height are still the same and correct. And then that's all that really matters. You can just hit export right here and save it on your PC. So once you've saved your artwork, you want to drag and drop it into this upload window right here, which you find, by the way, if you hover over your shop name, then you have to just click to confirm that you're not a robot. And one thing to mention right here is that there's a maximum number of 10 designs per day that you can upload. So it's very limited on display, but that doesn't really matter. You can still pump out a lot of designs 
in a month if you think about it so let's start off with this design then so the title is slightly hidden behind my face i'll just make that window smaller and um, the title on display is extremely short and um, so you can't really fit much in here work harder motivational is maybe what i'd put and there we go we've only got two characters left so that's that description i've actually prepared a quick one right here this is where you want to get some more keywords into this related to who might want to actually buy this design or what might be typed into the search bar so this design says nobody cares work harder a great motivational phrase we could also put motivational quote for uh, businessmen entrepreneurs bodybuilders or students just as some ideas right there for the target audience if we scroll down further we now get to the collection so on your shop you essentially have different collections i would recommend creating a new one for each niche that you want to enter so you can choose a collection right here if you've already got some or you can click create new collection you could name this one for example motivational quotes and hit to create then you have to choose the type uh, which is almost always going to be illustration i suppose unless you want to actually upload real photography and then we come to the categories now here you've got quite a bit of choice in terms of which categories to select and obviously this will heavily depend on what design you've just uploaded and um, if you're not sure what this is for if we head to browse posters as you can see right here it comes up with the different categories of passions nature culture etc so in this case because it's motivational what i would recommend is inspirational right here you could also choose man cave text art is also one i like to use but you know if you've got nature design animal designs then you would obviously have to select completely different categories right here you can select up to three i would recommend filling that out if possible if you have enough categories that suit your design uh, just so it can be found more easily and then tags at the bottom uh, this helps you get discovered now i didn't do any research for this design but once again you want to put some relevant tags that ideally would be something which gets typed in typically i would recommend you look at some other displays and see what they have in their title description etc and then try and find new ideas for tags that way so these are just some tips as well about what to use for tags but you don't want to infringe on third party copyrights irrelevant tags are pointless as well so don't just spam anything into there it has to be relevant to your design and then once you're done just click this tick box right here and then hit upload and it will submit your design it then gets reviewed which typically takes about 24 hours and then it might either be rejected or accepted into the display marketplace so now we've come to the last part of this video, which is where I show you how to automate the upload to display using Flying Upload. And you might wonder, why would I do this? It's only 10 uploads a day and it's fairly easy to do yourself. Yes, definitely you don't have to use Flying Upload. The benefits of using Flying Upload though is that you don't have to go through the entire process of uh, converting all of your PNG designs to JPEGs in the other format. Flying Upload will manage that entire process for you and obviously you won't have to upload manually. It'll just save you some extra time right there if you're completely new to flying upload then you might want to watch uh, one of my old videos first where i actually explain how to get set up with the tool and how it works in this video i'm just going to do a quick run how to actually prepare designs for uploading to display it. so if you're new to the tool it might seem a bit confusing but don't worry it's relatively easy to get started if you watch my other tutorial first so let's say we've got this design right here that we've just uploaded but we have it in png format so all you have to do is drag it into flying upload give it a title this title is a bit longer than the one we had displayed because you can use the same design and upload it with flying upload to lots of other marketplaces as well so you'd want a longer title on there the description right here is the same and i've added a few tags the type men women youth applies black for the background obviously white you wouldn't see it now this is all great for all of the uh, other marketplaces like t public red bubble that sort of stuff but for display we have to actually configure some extra settings down here where it says platform options so just click on display it. and in here what you want to first of all put is the collection name so we had motivational quotes for our collection then you want to decide the background color so within the JPEG there will obviously be a background color so you can see the preview on the right hand side right here and you can decide that through these preset buttons you could also go into custom actually select a custom color yourself right here if you wanted to or just quickly select black which probably works in most cases and then we come to the categories so it pre selects a few ones right here based on your keywords which is really handy funny i don't know if that's a 
perfect category for this design. So you can untick that. And once again, you can go and use text art and then hit save once you're done with that. Obviously make sure it's set to illustration, but it is by default. So hit save and there we go. Now it's ready to be uploaded to display. You can literally do this with like a hundred designs. It'll take you, I don't know, 20 minutes, skip through them all, prepare them for display. And then you've got like 10 days worth of uploads ready for display, 10 a day. Um, if you go back and then head to upload, all you then have to do is literally click on start right here. It will open up display. You might have to log in manually if you don't have auto login configured. But if you do, then flying upload will take that task off your hands as well and log in automatically. You will actually still have to do the I'm a robot thingy, which is a bit annoying. So you have to select the traffic lights here, but that's just for the first login into display. After that, uh, flying upload will handle the rest of the captures. So uh, log in right here and here we go. As you can see, it's all hand off. I can definitely not type this quickly. Flying Upload is doing it all for me. So all of the links to Flying Upload will be down in the description. You can get a free trial to the tool and test it out before you decide to you know, get a subscription or not. And if you do decide to sign up to the tool, I have a discount code. It's uh, Philip Anders 20 and it will get you 20% off either your first month or your first entire year. So bear that in mind. And yeah, so I hope that this video will help you out. I hope it's made some of you aware of a new platform where you can successfully sell your artwork and your designs. And I hope some of you get accepted and I hope some of you can start making money with your own metal prints. If you want to boost your print on demand sales for the coming future, then make sure to check out this video next, where I share 22 lessons with you that can help you increase your sales.